The United States is born of people seeking religious freedom. This was so fundamental to the fledgling states that the Constitution depended on that First Amendment. Shall I say it again? Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. The, the Health and Human Services mandate set forth by the Obama administration flies in the face of this most fundamental right. It will force all morally objectionable practices upon us. We at Created Equal categorically reject this. We believe that this is just one of a long train of abuses and usurpations brought forth by President Obama. It is our right, it is our duty, to throw off such governmental intrusion. Created Equal stands with this effort. President Obama has once again attacked Christians in his relentless pursuit to, as he put it himself, fundamentally transform the United States of America. What he fails to realize is that we not only recognize what he's doing, but we are willing to stop what he is doing. With a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. I'm Andrea Trotting with Heartbeat International. of pro-life pregnancy organizations with more than 1,200 affiliates throughout the United States and in the world. Our Pregnancy Help Network consists of pregnancy resource centers, medical clinics, maternity homes, nonprofit adoption agencies, and abortion recovery groups that work very hard to ensure that women experiencing an unexpected pregnancy receive the support and help they need throughout their community. thousands of other groups standing up for religious freedoms across this great nation. We know that religious freedom comes from God and it is protected by the Constitution of the United States of America. <laughs> religious liberty, as articulated in the First Amendment, is listed first of all the freedoms. make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the exercise thereof, the free exercise thereof. <laughs> the U.S. Health and Human Services mandate for all employers, including religiously affiliated organizations, to provide insurance coverage for contraceptives, sterilization, and abortion-inducing drugs is a, a dangerous assault on our religious freedoms and a direct conflict of the Christian no, commitment okay. of care go back down. No, that our pregnancy help network abides by. Our pregnancy help network does not now, nor will it ever, provide or refer for contraception or abortion. Because we know, we know there is value in every life. Today, we stand together because we believe that no government of the people, by the people, and for the people can strip us of our individual right of conscience. Thank you for standing with us. And remember, our country was founded on the basis that freedom of religion, not from it,
Good afternoon. I'm Mark Honey from the Catholic Diocese of Columbus. I'm director of the Office for Social Concern. And probably the most pressing social concern that we've been working on recently is this HHS mandate and its violation of religious freedom. So I join you here today to stand up for religious freedom. Religious freedom is essential for the human person to meet his or her responsibilities to the Creator and to prepare for the transcendent vocation of living with God face to face. It is derived from right reason and the natural order established by God. It is a fundamental human right which every state has an obligation to recognize and protect. Pope John XXIII, when he wrote his encyclical on fundamental human rights entitled Peace on Earth, said this about the right to religious freedom. He said, among man's rights is that of being able to worship God in accordance with the right dictates of his own conscience, and to profess his religion both in private and in public According to the clear teachings of Lactantius, this is the very condition of our birth, that we render to the God who made us that just homage which is his due, that we acknowledge him alone as God and follow him. It is from this duty of piety which binds us and joins us to God that religion derives its name. The task has now come upon us to defend this right to religious freedom, guaranteed in our Constitution's Bill of Rights. And frankly, such a task is beyond our own limited powers. And the only way that we can hope to fulfill this responsibility is through personal sacrifice and prayer, asking God to support us with his power, which is more than sufficient for the task ahead. Our bishops in the Catholic Church have called upon the Catholic faithful and all people of faith throughout our country to join in prayer and penance for our leaders and for the complete protection of religious liberty, our first freedom. Prayer is the ultimate source of our strength, for without God we can do nothing, but with God all things are possible. We must also continue our witness, as we have done before, and indeed are doing today by our presence at this rally. We must continue to write, to call, to meet with our elected officials, our congressional representative, our United States senators from Ohio. We must urge the introduction and passage of legislation that restores religious freedom and rights of conscience, which have been abridged by the recent mandate from the Department of Health and Human Services. And so, in summary, we must pray, we must offer acts of penance, and we must continue our witness to our elected officials by calls, meetings, and letters. And we must never be afraid to suffer the consequences for giving God what belongs to Him alone. Uh, Archbishop of Baltimore was named John Carroll. He also established Georgetown University. And he wrote a prayer 15 years after our nation was born. It goes like this. We pray you, O God of might, wisdom, and justice, through whom authority is rightly administered, laws are enacted, and judgment decreed. Assist us with your Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude. Assist with your Holy Spirit of counsel and fortitude the President of these United States, that his administration may be conducted in righteousness and be eminently useful to your people over whom he presides, by encouraging due respect for virtue and religion, by a faithful execution of the laws and justice and mercy, and by restraining vice and immorality. Let the light of your divine wisdom direct the deliberations of Congress and shine forth in all the proceedings and laws framed for our rule and government, 
so that they may tend to the preservation of peace, the promotion of national happiness, the increase of industry, sobriety, and useful knowledge, and may perpetuate to us the blessing of equal liberty. We recommend likewise to your unbounded mercy all our fellow citizens throughout the United States that we may be blessed in the knowledge and sanctified in the observance of your most holy law. That we may be preserved in union and in that peace which the world cannot give. And after enjoying the blessings of this life, be admitted to those that are eternal. Amen. 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 